Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a rarely seen watch. It's an all-arounder, neither sports watch nor dress watch. It's a little bit of both. 40 millimeters in stainless steel. This is the Blancpain Le Mans Big date or grande date. The timepiece is 40 millimeters in diameter by 11.5 millimeters thick. It is 45.1 millimeters from lug to lug. It has a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now on my wrist, it's got a nice stance to it. It's a full size case, but it is narrow across the wrist such that it comes nowhere near the edges. And I can recommend it for wrists as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. So though large as a case, it's short lug to lug and suitable for men and for women. It's also low enough to fit underneath any kind of a dress sleeve. Strap. Large, rectangular scale alligator leather. Uh, it is matte finished. It is bolstered a little bit to give it some volume. It's sheer cut on its side, and it has a monotone stitch. It's rubber lined on the underside, which I love. Some brands do this. Zenith does, Blancpain does, and you can see that the rubber not only feels wonderful, but it also isolates the leather from the heat, sweat, moisture, and grit of the wrist to extend the life of the strap. You can also see this is a brand new, unworn Blancpain factory strap. We also have a steel buckle, very simple, branded, not a whole lot to see, but handsome and appropriate to the model. This is a case form that will be very familiar to Blancpain fans. It's on everything from the Le Mans to the Villeray to the well, the 50 Fathoms itself has this separated uh, case and lug profile where the lugs are broken out from a bowl-shaped case that's got a little bit of tumble home from the top to bottom. You can see we have full high polish. Everything is polished. The Blanc Pen name on the side. We have a double gadroon, double domed bezel, screw down crown, small shear guards for the crown. And it is 100 meters water resistant. The dial is black and it features a little stepped track for the hours. You can see that outboard, it steps up for the applied hour indices that are loomed as well as the seconds hashes and the minutes. And then there is a little bit of a well in which the faceted applique hour indices sit. And then the center dial steps up. We have broadsword style hands, polished and skeletonized. We have the Blanc Pant logo up at 12 o'clock. We have a big date with a wonderfully serifi font that's been used there. Now the watch has a subsidiary setting mode. One feature it does not have because of the Frédéric Piguet 1150 base movement. It does not have hacking, but what it does have is the ability on so many movements of this type to apply a little bit of back pressure and stop the seconds hand if you do wish to effectively hack the seconds and set the watch to a reference time. You can easily sort of synchronize just like this and then set the watch however you see fit and then release and it begins again. Now we also have a quick set system for the big date, which is a wonderful little piece of theater as setting a big date is always a crowd pleaser, whether your friends are watch fans or not. The watch is loomed, it is steel, it is automatic, and it is water resistant, which is why I call it an all arounder though. The Le Monde collection is considered to be a dress watch collection. This is a sporty dress watch and it's well loomed to prove it. Flipping it over, you can see the movement, which is made by Frédéric Piguet. It is the caliber 6950. It is based on the Frédéric Piguet 1150. You can see two barrels. It is an automatic winder with a 72-hour power reserve. It's adjusted in five positions like a chronometer. You can see it pivots on 35 joules. In addition to a long-ish power reserve at 72 hours, the two barrels make for a very even torque release. A single barrel movement tends to see a lot of torque fluctuation when fully wound, in which case it'll tend to run very fast. And then when mostly discharged, or even after just 24 hours, a single barrel movement can see a big torque drop off that manifests as a loss of balance amplitude and slower timing. With twin barrels, you have less of a problem. Now the movement is nicely executed and you can see it has fired blued screws. It also has a couple of black polished screws. It has lovely Cote de Genève. You can see they're bright, luminous and lustrous and perfectly aligned from bridge to bridge. You can also appreciate that both the edge of the rotor and the edge of the bridges are nicely mirror beveled. It's quite handsome and fetching and it's actually better than what you'll find on, for example, FP Journe or Audemars Piguet on the rank and file watches from those brands. There's satination on the wheels, there's engine turning on the base, 
grease plate. And we have lacquering within the recesses of the rotor to blue lacquer the blanc pain, the blanc pain logo, and the 1735 founding year logos. So now we also have other elements in here. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is a good looking, nicely finished, and fairly accurate, and fairly long legged high horology movement. Remember, Frederic Piguet today is known as Manufacture Blanc Pan, so this is effectively an in house caliber and a wonderful and uncommon all around watch. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.